Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the basics of how a transformer works. So, a transformer works basically on electromagnetic induction. That one wire yeah, has a current going through it, which is generating a magnetic field. The other wire experiences a change in a magnetic field, which therefore induces an EMF in that object, which then will generate a current. And if it keeps experiencing this change in magnetic field, current will continue to flow. So what I have here are two wires here. This one here has 100 turns, has a voltage of 230, and a current of 0.3 amps. Now the power on this side is going to be 230 times by 0.3, which is... 230 times 69 watts. Okay. Now, this object here has only got 10 coils. So, this one is going to generate quite a, because there's so many coils, this one's actually going to generate quite a big magnetic field. But this one, because it's got much less coils, is actually going to see much less flux linkage in total. This means, if you look at the formula, that EMF that is induced is N change in flux over time. This N is really important. So, this is going to have an AC current going through it. Okay, so it's going to have a current that looks like this. And the reason it's going to be AC is because the current is going to keep changing direction, which means because it is a current carrying wire generating a magnetic field, because the current is changing, the magnetic field continuously changes too. This wire will experience that change in the magnetic field that this one is making. And the amount is going to change, the amount of EMF that's going to be induced in it, because it's going to experience a change in flux, which means an EMF is induced, which means that a current is induced. Because the number of turns is smaller, even though it's making a massive change in flux, this has a smaller number of turns. This means the EMF is going to go down by the same factor. So my N, my number of turns, has gone from 100 to 10, which means my EMF, my potential difference, my voltage, is also going to go down by a factor of 10 too. However, one of the basic principles of the universe is that energy is conserved. So the energy that this one has must be the energy that this side has too. So if I use P equals I V, I know I must have 69 volts. So I times 23. So I is going to be 3 amps. As you can see, my current has increased, but my potential has decreased. Okay? And this is all to do but the potential is all to do with Faraday's law. Remember that an EMF is induced before the current is induced, okay? So what's happening here is the potential is decreasing, but because to conserve energy overall, I must have more charges flowing every second to compensate for the fact that my potential has gone down. Okay, so this here is the basis of a transformer. This one is a step down. Because I've gone from a high amount of EMF or potential to a lower amount of potential. Okay, a step up transformer is basically the other way around. So this thing here, this object here, would make some flux, not as much flux as this one. Because this is a much bigger coil, 
it will have a bigger flux linkage because of that change in flux. So more EMF is induced, but less current would be induced. Okay. Now you see step up and step down all the time. So a step up and step down transformer are the ones that you see probably outside your home or wherever you live um, when uh, that take mains from pylons down to um, us to be used in the home. Now, when we're in home, we don't want 44,000 volts running through our circuitry at all. We want something much lower. And so what we do is that we step it down to come into circuits. Now, if you use like a phone or whatever, you have a massive plug. That is a mini transformer that is transforming things lower to be used by the circuitry. Now, another thing here, here's a laptop one. So this bit here is a laptop transformer. This is adjusting the potential, the voltage that's coming out of the plug to what the computer itself needs. <clears throat> okay. So this idea of transformers is the idea of taking Faraday's law, the idea that an, an electromagnetic is actually the idea that you can, an object experiencing a change in flux and makes an EMF, which will induce a current, and using that to be able to control potential going into different parts of the circuit. Okay, so that is a basic introduction to transformers.